Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So in this one, I wanna show you all how I have my home screen set up currently. Works fantastic, has a lot of cool features in there. So let's go ahead and get into how to get your home screen set up the way that I do. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is download the wallpapers that I have linked down inside of the description. It's going to be two. This is gonna be a two part tutorial, but same concept here. So once you have both of those, go ahead and open that up in your gallery. I wanna show you something that's pretty neat. So once you have these pictures downloaded, um, something that's good to know is I'm gonna revert this to original because you're gonna run into this in the future. If you should download a picture from the internet, Go ahead and check out what the remastered picture looks like. Galaxies have a setting on them that will let you remaster them. And it does more than just change the colors. It literally will sharpen things. So look at Gohan's before and look at the after. Look how much sharper it looks and just how much better it looks. Yeah, really, really handy. You can check the same thing out here with Piccolo. Looks a whole lot sharper. This is the original image downloaded from the website here. Another detail, you look at his arm, you see how that looks? Much cleaner after. So keep that in mind to remaster pictures, comes in handy. This is the second one here that I'm gonna show you guys, but same thing. This is what it looks like now, but the original actually looks like this. I'm gonna get a hit remaster picture, and I want you to just check this out because this can be very handy and really make your wallpapers and pictures pop. So this is, look at Gohan's eyes. And now look at it after it's been remastered. It looks much better. So keep this in mind. Same thing here for these different strokes here. This is what it actually looked like when I first downloaded it. And this is what it looks like remastered. Anyways, I think that's really cool. I think that's good for you guys to know. So go ahead and set this uh, picture, whichever one that you guys want. We're going to work with this one first. Go ahead and go to menu and set as wallpaper, home and lock screens. We're going to build this together. And make sure that, you know, just it's okay for you to just set them both. Um, once it gets here, go ahead and pick the colors that you want. It's up to you. You can move this over to kind of see some different screens here. I personally like the orange color. I think it looks nice. Kind of goes with that orange piccolo and that color there. And then once that's all set, then go ahead and come back to this screen here. So once we're back here and we actually have everything set, this is looking good. So at the very top, you should have your colors looking like this. This looks nice. I'm gonna open up a message. Okay, so here's how it looks like inside of my messaging application. And the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to change is going to be the keyboard. So you see here how I have my keyboard is also going to be themed. To do this here, let's go ahead and go home and let's go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. And we are gonna to wanna to download Good Lock. I have it here, but just you know, use the magnifying glass here and uh, just search for good lock. And then you'll see it pop up here. Download this one. And then go ahead and hit open. And then you also are gonna see family on the bottom right. And then let's go ahead and download Keys Cafe. Let's download Wonderland and let's download Theme Park. These are the three applications that we're gonna use. These are all straight from Samsung, they're safe. Don't worry. Once you go ahead and get Keys Cafe downloaded, go ahead and tap on that. You're gonna have a default keyboard that already looks pretty nice <laughs> once you actually open it up. But we're gonna go ahead and tap on style your own keyboard and then just hit the plus. And from here, it's gonna have different colors. You don't have to use these ones. Tap on this little color here and then you can actually just pick which one that you actually want to use um, and just kind of go from there. I guess I'll just set something like purple. Um, but yeah, go ahead and save that now as something, I'm just gonna name it, uh, I guess I'll name it test. And then it's gonna go ahead and show you that one. Um, so go ahead and tap on that. All right, now go to effects. And you see here, I actually have mine set to just keyboard. It's that top uh, left is how I have all the mines. But if you tap on color here, this is the thing. You can go ahead and pick whatever colors that you want. I actually chose this one that has the purple and the yellow. I feel like this one already matches the color when it comes to like the purple suits that Gohan and uh, Piccolo actually wear. And so from there, when you actually open up your keyboard and start typing, you're going to get, uh, whoops, I hit the space, if you hit the space bar to do that. <laughs> but you can test the keyboard out by just coming here and you're gonna get this really nice looking effect here. Looks really cool. This is exclusive to 
Galaxy devices. All right, so you got your keyboard set up. The next thing is going to be, um, let's go ahead and head back into uh, Good Lock. Now let's actually go ahead and open up um, Wonderland. Wonderland will let you create moving wallpapers. It's really neat. This is a slept on feature. We're gonna build this one together um, and we're gonna, we're gonna build two. So let's go ahead and start with a new and then go ahead and open up your gallery and navigate to that Gohan picture. We're gonna do the first one with Gohan and Piccolo together. So inside your gallery, go ahead and just choose that picture there that we remastered. And then you see right below that picture on the right here, right over here, tap on this image here and we're gonna pick particle preset and go ahead and select rain. Now from here, this actually looks pretty cool already, right? <laughs> but we're gonna make it look even better. So that top one, we're gonna start calling the Gohan effect. And the bottom one is gonna be the Piccolo effect. So click on the Gohan effect and we wanna go ahead and change it to background color because we want the colors to be chosen from the background and not just white or certain color. Now we're gonna go ahead and also right here for the effect, we're gonna pick this one here. I'll get back to you on the name of this. I'm just gonna call it like the fairy light special chi effect. <laughs> but yeah, uh, select this one here. Um, and now for the duration, uh, I don't mind if it's longer. Uh, I prefer it longer. You pick whatever you want though. And for the rotation and the size, so the size, I, I kind of like the size to be, you can see what size it is right here. It's already starting to flow. Um, back on that Gohan effect. I want the I want it to be about medium to smaller size. I think that this looks nicer. So it could be any range of these. You can increase it down there um, to kind of you know pick something that you like. It's just going to increase that range. But I think medium to smallest is going to look really nice. So from there for the rotation, I actually want this to come from uh, the left to the middle is fine. Um, you can kind of move it over a little bit more if you want, but pretty much uh, this looks good here from the left to the middle. And then for the amount, you can increase this if you want to. I'm gonna put it at about the middle. And let's see. So for the spread direction, I want things to go from like the middle to the right is totally fine. Um, it can spread that, you know, it's coming from the left. We're gonna have it coming from the left. So uh, that's fine, it can go that way there. Um, and then when it comes to the top, we're just going to leave that one in the middle. We'll leave that one alone. That one's fine. And when it comes to automatically, this is important because I want Gohan's effects to come from the left. Right now it's coming from the left hand side of the screen and flow into the right. I want that to stay. So I want Gohan's effects to come from the left. And then I also want his to be from, um, I kind of want his to also be the middle to the bottom just because Gohan is on the uh, middle to the bottom left hand side of the screen and Piccolo is on the top right. So for this particular setup, I want his to be left and then I want his to be uh, from the middle of the screen to the bottom. And then that's pretty much it for Gohan. I'll leave everything else alone. I'll go ahead and jump over to Piccolo now. And again, we need to change his to background color because I want it to choose from the background color. We're gonna go ahead and pick this fairy slash chi effect here <laughs> and then for the duration again i don't mind if that one's longer all right go back to piccolo here and then for the size again that one can be medium to uh smaller for the particle uh size there that one's cool and then for the rotation i want his to be uh right to the middle for piccolos okay and then for the amount, I'm gonna go ahead and put Piccolo's at about medium as well. And then for the spreading direction, uh, for Piccolo's, I actually want his to be uh, opposite. So his is gonna be uh, middle, uh, left there. That one's fine for that uh, spreading direction. Want these to be opposite so that, you know, it looks like something's coming from Piccolo and then something coming from Gohan's side. And then I'll leave that uh, top or bottom, I'll leave that one alone. That one's fine as it is, but spreading direction that's gonna be opposite of Gohan's here. This one's Piccolo. So we're gonna leave Piccolo spread direction left to middle. And for playing type, I want Piccolo's to come from the right-hand side. So this is gonna be opposite. I want Piccolo's to come from the right-hand side, but I want Piccolo's to come um, actually from the, uh, like, 
the far right, but I want his to be coming from the top of the screen to about the middle. So you see, you can change it. I don't want it to come from the whole entire right hand side. I just want Piccolo's to come from the top right to about the, to the middle of the display. And if you hit preview, that's when you're going to start getting Piccolo's effects. Looks more orangish in color because of the colors that's on his corner of the screen. And Gohan's, you notice, is more of that green and that purple, that red that popping from the beast eye color there and from his waistband. So this right here is pretty much the effect. If you click back on Piccolo again. Again, you can mess around with these other settings, but that's going to be the main thing. So um, go ahead and just tap that uh, X right there. If you're happy with this, this is fine. You're good to go. If you want to increase it, you can as well. But here I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I'm going to name this one as test. Um, I'm not sure if I have one test or not, but let's see. Oop. All right. And then after that, go to set as wallpaper on a home and lock screen. So you'll also see this on your lock screen as well. And when you go home, you should have this effect happening here. And even if you rotate your phone, you're still going to have this really cool looking effect. And this is a really neat way to get things popping here for you. So the last thing there that you're going to want to change here to see I've covered. Yep, covered that one. Um, I've got your keyboard set up. It's going to be the icons here, I believe. So let's go ahead and go to... Um, uh, the Galaxy Store will just open up Good Lock. Basically, we've already touched Keys Cafe. We've already messed with Wonderland. So let's click on Theme Park. And the icon pack here is actually called Ycons. And so if you click on icon here, we're going to create new. I guess before we do that, though, I guess I'll stop here. Um, I guess actually, I guess I'll go back. <laughs> um, Go ahead and open up the Play Store and search for Ycons. It's right there. Of course, if you uh, hit enable, I guess I'll update it. Uh, if you have been following this channel, you all know how I feel about the Ycons <laughs> icon pack. It just looks so cool. It like goes with everything. Um, so I love using the Wicons icon pack. I know I need to branch out, right? But I love using the Wicons icon pack. I think it looks really nice. Uh, really nice. Uh, the developer definitely keeps these up uh, updated, and they seem to keep adding just more and more. So I really like this icon pack. This is the one that we're going to actually be using here. So go ahead and create new. And you have a couple options here. If you only want to put your icons here, so I'll show you this right here. So right now I have the icons here on my home screen as well as different icons that's here. But let's say I only wanted it to be just uh, a certain amount. I'll link a video up top to how to do something like that to where you can only pick, but I'll show you how that goes here. So first to set all of the icons to be the Wicon, hit icon pack here. And then go ahead and select Wicons right here. It's going to go ahead and load all of those tons of icons that the developer has created for each of these applications here. And then we're going to go ahead and be able to apply that here on One UI. So that's what it's going to look like. And then from there, I'm just going to do this very basic one and then I'm going to save it. I'm going to name this one as Wicons 2 because I already have a Wicons one or just a plain Wicons already. <clears throat> but once this is installed, uh, what it's going to do is just, you know, create this. It's not going to apply it. It's just going to create it for right now. On the next screen, after this finishes installing, at that point, I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do next, which is basically just going to be able to tap on the one that we just created and then hit apply. So it just finished up, tap on it and then press apply. And that's what's going to go ahead and give us the Wicons effect on our home screen. So now your icons should look like this here. Okay. If you're wondering about this widget, this here is just to add a glance. If you just press anywhere on the home screen here and then tap on widgets and you scroll down to Google, it's the add a glance one. There you go. That's all it is. So there you go. And you can add that one uh, to whatever screen that you want it to be on. And so, of course, you move these around wherever you want. You know, I have mine set up like that. I think this 
I think this looks pretty neat too. But I don't know, I kind of like having it wider here. Probably because Gohan is like taking up so much space. I kind of like the icons to be in, it, like in a cool pose too. <laughs> but anyways, this is pretty much how I have things set up. And uh, yeah, it looks really neat. You can go even further with this by having multiple icon packs. Um, I guess I'll save that for another video because this tutorial is getting pretty long. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. This effect looks really, really cool. And this movie was pretty nice to watch as well. Beast Gohan, already, he's always existed. <laughs> so it's cool to see him just shine with Dragon Ball Super. But anyways, um, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you do, make sure that you subscribe, drop a like, and let me know what other kind of home screens that you would like to see. Definitely want to get into different um, home screen tutorials with, di with different applications because that has different special ways to let us customize as well. But this effect looks really nice. Hope you all enjoyed this. See you all in the next video.